Hello, hello everyone and welcome back. We are in Tomerang, the gorgeous, gorgeous Tomerang. I mean, it is amazing. And uh, we are going to be playing the For Rent Aspirations today. I mean, look at this world. It is stunning. I would love to be living there. Says the girl that lives in New Zealand and it is perfectly gorgeous on its own. Anyway, we are here today with the For Rent Aspiration. Hi, Obsessed Simmer. Thanks for joining me. Love you, love you. And I want to just check out where we're at with everything because I've kind of forgotten because I have the brain of a noodle. Oh, oh man. I haven't said. Oh, hang on. I just need to change wonderful whims because I have got that set in a way I do not like. I'm going to get her out of bed to be able to. I don't like the whole uh, period thing that you get with wonderful whims. It's just not my not my thing so let's change all oh, that not that pregnancy settings no thank you it just it seems to like add it to oh because i've added in the um app like in between uh, the mod between playing this last time and playing this now so that's why it's done that your discord app worked what discord app what did you do there obsessed simmer Anyway, uh, now let's see what we're up to. Uh, I'm going to send her back to bed because she is <laughs> exhausted. So she's my snoop. Um, and then I've got my five-star property owner in Remington here. So where are we at now snooping? Oh, we did our snooping. So now we're doing the Fount of Tomorami knowledge. So we're going to leave fruit or incense at a spirit house, which we've done. Tick. Use Tomorami introduction. Easy peasy. We can do that. Meet a sim with the child of the village personality trait. Now, that might be a little trickier. Like, I know one of our kids, I think, has it. But I think because we've already met them, obviously, because it's our child. Yeah. Um, that does make it a little bit harder. So, I think we're probably going to have to wander around, like, town. Just to see. Uh, I added one that auto-messages me when you, Koala, and Kirsty go live. Oh, cool. I'm getting a raid! Oh no! I'm being raided. <laughs> That's so awesome. I've never been raided before. I'm excited about that. Oh, ooh. in honor of Love Day, Joel's school always allows students to buy flowers to be delivered to each other during class. With some money to spend, Joel decided to take advantage of the fundraiser and celebrate the holiday. Ah, uh, buy flowers for everyone. Ah, uh, I think the raid worked. Hello, raiders! <laughs> koala raid oh my gosh <laughs> thank you ah oh, that's so fun i have not been raided before so that's fun uh the nanny's charged me 73 simoleons okay that's cool i'm gonna just hire her again because i'm not taking care of the kids <laughs> i'm not taking care of the kids in this uh gameplay if i can help it because i want to focus on the aspirations you did it koala amazing <laughs> you did a raid that's so cool. And welcome to everyone who hasn't uh, been with me before. I really appreciate you coming and checking out what I'm doing. So I am playing with the For Rent Pack at the moment and trying to do the aspiration. So just looking at the Fount of Tomorani Knowledge aspiration, we've already done the Snoop aspiration. Um, and I was just going to have a look. We've got to use a squat toilet five uh, three times. Do I want to go on a date? No, I'm happily married, apparently. So we're just waiting in the five-star property owner aspiration to handle an emergency event. So, <laughs> oh, Veg, I feel like a, a member of the NFL team from Las Vegas. You're doing a raid. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, I've got to handle an emergency event. So one of the things that I find, uh, I'm not, I'm a little confused by, oh, one of the kids is crying. Oh, no. Didn't I hire a nanny? Ah, oh, I went to sleep. Um, is what like constitutes an emergency event and what constitutes a maintenance event? Because I think in the last aspiration we had to do an, a maintenance event and like I did one, but then it didn't like register as being one. So maybe I'm confused about what events mean what. I don't know. It's a whole. It's a little confusing, but that's cool. So we're gonna do like a, a little bit of um. The Tomorani introduction thing. Do I have a vacuum? 
because dust bunnies drive me nuts and I basically go a little insane if I can't fix dust bunnies. <laughs> I'm one of those people. Yes, uh, raids are fun to do. I think I've only been... Actually, I haven't participated in a raid. I've seen one, um, but I haven't actually participated in a raid, I don't think. But that's cool. I like it. I think it's a lot of fun. I was like worried it was like a negative thing. Like, you know, it's something that happens and like you do like something mean or something. That's that's what's my first impression when I first like <laughs> joined joined Twitch was like, oh raids, that sounds horrible. Like why would you want to raid? Like is that when you're being like go into a uh, into a stream and you're like mean to someone? <laughs> so yeah. I really didn't know what a, a raid was or what that meant, so yeah. Embarrassed. Adrift from missing Tomaroni culture. Ah, oh, Remington has been feeling unmoored lately. His community and culture is an anchor and maybe it's time to reconnect. Ah, oh, so how do I reconnect to Tomaroni culture? Oh god, that kid stinks. Um, I wanted you to vacuum. Vacuum lightly. Please vacuum. No! Is it too squishy a space? Sometimes I've noticed like if it's like a, not a certain amount of space, I'll do something like this and like they'll walk outside and then they'll be like, no, nope, can't reach. And it's really annoying. Yes, I am only seven followers away from my, uh, from my follower goal of 50. My goal, not a foal. <laughs> That's right. Go on another fall. So I worked out the whole um, <laughs> seeing my chat thing while I'm streaming thing too. Because I thought I needed to like be on Twitch and listening uh, like ha and like watching my chat like via Twitch. But then I can actually see it via Streamlabs. <laughs> and yeah, I'm such a noob. I'm sorry guys. I really am such a noob. Anyway, we've got Madeline's awake, so she uh, used to be a snoop, and now she is uh, dirty and tired. I should actually probably give her a shower quickly. And I realised that I can't actually wash my children because I didn't put a bath. <laughs> I didn't put a bath in this, um, yeah, in this rental unit. So, oopsie. Now I'm gonna get Dad. He is now cleaning the thing. Uh, um, maybe we should go and visit a couple of units and do some maintenance. So we can do that while mum is having a shower. Oh yay, the nanny's finally here to take care of the children. I wonder if she'll clean them. So I... S <laughs> oh, thank you, okay. And I see it on Twitch, so I also have the lefty control panel and you can put up shields of bad people. Ah. Okay, yeah, I couldn't work out like how to, uh, anyway, I'll work it out. <laughs> but it's nice to actually have like the chat up on my um, PC and not on my phone for once. So let's knock on the door. No, I don't want to switch control. I just want to knock on the door. No? Can I not knock on the door? Oh, you know what? I think it's because... Mm. Oh, I forgot he was famous. Oh, that's right. We've got a famous guy living in here. Like, uh, what's his name? Dustin Broke. Yeah. <laughs> He's a famous dude. I see him as like a streamer and stuff. So maybe he's like a fellow streamer. Uh, compliment appearance? I was actually just going to do some maintenance. <laughs> so I don't didn't mean to like chat with him. Um, okay, so here's the bathroom. So the, in the maintenance, we need to do inspection and maintenance, inspection and maintenance, and inspection and maintenance. Because I assume that we need to get our unit up to five stars. I think there's absolutely zero way we can do that with the current like layout we have. But I don't know. Like I think you get like increases and stuff from different events, so maybe I can. It's a little confusing. I have Seribot. So, uh, yeah, I do have Seribot in chat. So you can use Seribot uh, to do things. I don't really know what Seribot does. I think it's something to do with, like, dogs, doesn't it? Because I know you recommended uh, that to me, Lady Annette, like, to get Seribot for chat. So I did it. There you go. There's a dog fat. 
So you can do all the dog facts with Seribot. And I also have Nightbot. Um, when I get to 50 followers, I'm planning on doing a giveaway. So I'm excited to learn how to do giveaways with the um, Nightbot <laughs> sometime in the future. All these new things I'm learning. I'm such an old, uh, old something. I was going to say an old dog not learning new tricks, but that's not true. I have been learning new tricks. So Joel is back from school. Friday nights are great for turning B's into A's. He could focus on that perhaps. Aha. You don't get the poor kid doing homework on a Friday night. That's rough. Oh, does Seribot do cat facts? Of all the species of cats, the domestic cat is the only species able to hold its tail vertically while walking. It's true. I see my cats doing that all the time. All species of wild cats hold their tail horizontally or tucked between their legs while walking. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Okay, so we're maintaining maintaining he doesn't like the decor i think i am insulted because i decorated this and i like the decor and it's his culture as well so why are you hey have we introduced ourselves to oh my gosh he's getting all flirty oh it's love day the doy oh well let's get flirty with Dustin broke uh, I always do impishly pester and I don't mean to because I don't really like the um, unless I'm like paying a mischievous character which isn't very often but sometimes I do it um, I'm not particularly fond of doing like mischievous interactions or mean interactions yeah unless I am doing something compliment house <laughs> I built it <laughs> compliment me every man personality uh, yeah so Let's go back home. We've done our maintenance. And I want to go and... Sure, you can take Dustin with you. Why not? You guys can hang out. While we go play with Madeline. And see about doing some Tomorani introductions. I was thinking maybe we could go down to the night market. Although it's probably not night. But, you know, the market. Let's try and do that. And see what happens. See if we can get some introductions. Uh, uh, Lady Annette is just playing with uh, the bot in chat. <laughs> it's entertaining herself that way. Oh, we've got the um, Spice Festival on. Maybe we could take Madeline to the Spice Festival. Let's take the whole family to the Spice Festival. I'm sure that'll be utter madness. Did she not have a shower? I told her to have a shower. Why did she not have a shower? Go have a shower and then we'll go to the Spice Festival. These sims never do what you tell them to. Nanny, look after the child. The child is upset. Nanny. Terrible nannies. Okay, let's go to the Spice Festival. So let's take the nanny and the kids and... Is that a second nanny? I don't know. Let's just take all the people. Oh, we can't take Dustin. Oh, well. Let's go to the Spice Festival. A red tom. Oh, you're looking at pictures. <laughs> Oh, fun. So, uh, this is only going to be like a little short gameplay stream. I just wanted to do something before I stream with the uh, Sesama. We're going to be doing something a little bit different and doing a uh, combined stream where we play Raft, which is a game we both really like. And I'm excited to do that. It will be my first like stream where I'm streaming with somebody else. So, I'm uh, going to be interested to find out how that process works and uh yeah how it all works yeah stinky children i know i know i know they are so stinky and disgusting like horrible you know what we should get dad to clean them clean up and change diaper <laughs> why did i give myself three children what is wrong with me <laughs> oh boy i actually i know why it's because i was um doing like character creation for the four rent pack and this is the family that i made when i made the uh four rent pack so uh because i was trying out like all the different outfits and stuff and i thought you know what i should play with this family with the four rent aspiration i didn't think through the fact that i probably didn't want to have three kids while i was doing that and learning like how to rent and stuff so yeah did not think that through but anyway we're a bit far in now and i'm just going to stick with what i've done and i just have to live with the consequences that's it oh chloe's aged up great 
so let's see what we get Ooh, we've got an inquisitive toddler oh we've got two toddlers now at least that's easier than the infant the toddlers can kind of take care of themselves a little bit they kind of have to in this house because i'm not taking care of them i'm a shocker well in this in this gameplay like in my hundred babies on youtube i am a very good mum i take too good a care of my children and uh basically my my mama in that game is always exhausted because she's always taking care of the kids i do not want a strict dynamic just for like cleaning the kids madeline's taking her first step in the coloring oh hang on Sorry, i forgot about what i was doing here madeline i need to challenge myself a new job might be the solution what do you think yeah sure i don't care if you're not my nanny anymore okay so we're going to introduce ourselves to some people using the tom and introduction so we need to meet three people which is great because there's lots of people we don't know around here that's our price there we go honest i'm interested to see how we go with these aspirations i'm not hi ak i'm glad to have you lurking lurkers are always very welcome i love lurkers i love chatters i love anyone that comes and watches me play <laughs> thank you thank you for coming to watch me play i appreciate it uh yeah anyway aspirations with the sims i uh, i've never been particularly great at doing them so it's been interesting for me just becoming a content creator and stuff actually doing like gameplay and stuff where i have to do the aspirations like i did the horse ranch um aspiration right through and i did the home chef hustle aspiration right through so this is uh, like my third aspiration where i'm doing it right through yes we've got a tick okay so we're going to meet a child with, uh, meet a son with a child of the village personality trait i think we might go to tomorani to do that and use a squat toilet well we can do that at home so that's no biggie so maybe we should travel uh to back to tomorani and go to like the market uh yeah anyway so yeah doing these aspirations is quite interesting um some of them do take a lot longer than others like the horse the horse ranch one like the championship rider one oh it took so long uh yeah that was a, that was a bit frustrating because it did take a long time to go through and it was a little glitchy um but you know it's mostly enjoyable i did like the nectar making one more because it was a lot shorter i tend towards liking uh shorter aspirations than i do longer aspirations or i should probably put that a different way i like aspirations that are broken up into sections i don't like because the horse ranch one was like all but a big one lump of aspirations so like it didn't have levels you know how sometimes with aspirations they have like level one level two level three level four like this with this so this is um, we're on zero out of three right but with um with the horse ranch it only had like one level and so it was like a whole big chunk of stuff that you had to do oh, where is that night market thing have i gone to the wrong place oh no there it is over there um yeah so there's a whole lot of chunk chunk of things to do and i found that really difficult for me to feel motivated to want to do it <laughs> whereas with these ones i actually like them a lot more oh, i need to go to the bathroom Drat. where is the bathroom Bathroom, where are we? Oh no, I need to pee. Ooh, I can't see a public bathroom. Yup, yow. Surely there must be a run around here somewhere. Does anyone know where the public bathrooms are in Tomarang? On Tomarang? Are there any? Uh oh. Uh oh, eh oh, eh oh, eh oh. I don't want to have to go home just to pee that's annoying can we can we do it before she actually needs to pee let's see so i need to meet a child of the village so let's do tom Marani. I, i'm gonna like talk to the vendors because there's a good chance like the vendors will be children of the village or at least one of the vendors this is my theory uh anyway like with the with this one with the um for rent aspirations i do appreciate that they are shorter ones there we go tom Maroney introduction um and then they're broken down i just find that a lot easier to feel motivated to do 
and it was same with like the home chef home chef hustle one. Oh yeah, good point. I would click on her need and see if she can find it. Yes, she has found it. Okay, great. Good thinking, Annette. Perfect. So uh yeah. And uh, the home chef hustle, uh, the aspiration when I did that, that was that was the same. What is she doing? So where is the bathroom? Let's follow her and see where it is. Oh, it's right there! <laughs> I missed it. It was hidden behind the building, to be fair. Um, yeah, so Home Chef Hustle, I really like the aspirations for that because it, they were shorter. And uh, these ones I do like a lot more because they're shorter. But the, the Horse Ranch ones, because they were such a big um, hunk of aspiration, I just I struggled with those a lot more. But yeah, the Nectar one, which was shorter, I did enjoy. I can't see... Who else haven't I met? Are you a local? Let's meet. Oh, I've met you. Okay. Uh, hmm. You know what? I could probably go around and like go to people's... No, I've met you. Um, people's rental houses and meet them. Maybe. That might be an idea. I could do that. If I can't find anyone here. I don't even know where she's going check the toddler uh, should probably get the kids home so they can have something to eat okay let's go home off we go yeah i i definitely think it should have like i don't think it was a problem with the length it was just like the presentation of it with the horse ranch aspiration because it was just like such a big hunk of thing like you had to get to you know like level 10 riding skill and you had to get the ultimate championship and stuff like that and it was quite a lot to do it was just i think probably just a mental thing for me uh being split up it probably would have made it a lot more palatable for me to want to actually do it but yeah when it's a, just a whole like hunk of stuff and i'm just like well that's gonna take me ages i don't want to do that and it's just like yeah i think that's purely like a mental thing for me <laughs> it's like i don't want to do that it's gonna take me ages you know Whereas if it's presented to me in like smaller hunks, uh, oh no, he's going to pee himself. Oh no, dad. Oh no. Oh, you're going to collapse too. Oh no. Uh oh. Well, if you went home when I told you to go home, you could have slept at home. Anyway, let's switch control to Melon. Yeah, I mean, I'm not too, even too worried. <laughs> hey, Prissy. <laughs> welcome welcome i'm just doing a short sims 4 stream and uh then i'll be going live with uh the obsessed simmer uh, and we're going to be playing a little bit of raft which is a super chill game that i absolutely love so i'm excited to do that my first ever combined stream uh you know what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna open this up and feed the toddlers or let the toddlers feed themselves yes there is food in here brilliant so everybody can go eat, eat, and eat, and then maybe the children will be less miserable. Oh, we got a couple of marbles. I can't even remember when I collected those, but anyway, I have collected some marbles. Now, I'm just going to have a look at my needs. Yeah, I might have something to eat, and then we might go out and see whether or not we can meet a few more people and get our Tomarani, uh, not our Tomarani introduction, our Child of the Village personality trait, and we use our squat toilet as well before we go. Yeah, Raft is a lot of fun. Uh, I just, I find it really relaxing to do, to play, except um, when you come across boars, but yeah, I find it really relaxing, um, just sort of out on the ocean, doing your thing, you know. And yeah, and yeah, I definitely agree that um, breaking it down would have made such a big difference to the... I don't know why they did it in like one big hunk. And that just was didn't make any sense. Uh, but yeah, it's just... I think when you are doing an aspiration, you just kind of want to have something that seems reasonably achievable in the immediate sort of time frame. Whereas like if you just like level 10 writing skill, you're just like, well, you know... That's going to take so long. Purple. Oh, cute. Purple party. <laughs> it is very cute, the purple party. 
Uh, okay, so we're going to go to the toilet. So we're going to get our another squat toilet tick there. And then I'm going to see about visiting some people around the place. I really don't know. You know what? Actually, I do know. You know what I'm going to do? Oh, it won't, it won't make any difference, will it? I'm just thinking if I like get the observant trait, if that would help. But I don't think, because I've still got to meet them. I'm going to get it anyway, because it's only 500. Um, I've still got to meet them, and if I meet them and they don't have the the child of the village personality trait, it doesn't matter, does it? But anyway, I've done it. Anyway, so let's go and travel, and let's go visit someone, meet some people. I, I don't know if we've... I don't know who we haven't met because oh, we've been going around and we was like snooping on people and stuff so I don't know if yeah if we haven't met people hmm who haven't we met this is a it's Judith Ward Wenting in here <laughs> that's funny Judith <laughs> Oh, she's a treat. Um, have we met the Kaya Poochries? Let's, I'm going to have, to, I think I want to check before I like leave the lot because I don't want to like transfer across the lot and we've already met them. Yeah, we have met them. Hmm. I don't know how to meet people that, if you guys got any suggestions for where I should go and what I should do to meet someone with like the child of the village trait. Have you met the old guy to the right? Uh, on screen? Is there an old guy to the right somewhere on screen? Or on my people list? Uh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> break into Judah's place and steal her kettle. <laughs> uh, no, the house over the pup. Oh, okay. Let's have a look. Oh, I have already travelled. Hang on. Let's have a look. Blue hat. Blue hat, blue hat dude. Uh, I've met all these guys, I'm pretty sure. I don't know which guy you're talking about, though, for the blue hat guy. So we've met her. Uh, we haven't met Judith, but I kind of do want to break in and steal her, <laughs> steal her kettle. Although I don't have the... Um, have I met the bum Mars? I feel like I have, because I went around snooping on everyone. I kind of need more people to like move in and live here. I don't know where to go. So maybe we could go to the pub and see. Uh, okay. Um, I don't know. if uh, The guy with the blue hat and a white shirt. So I don't know what's happened to him. I don't know where he is. So I don't know if I've met him or not. But that's okay. Maybe we can meet someone at the pub. Because it should, in theory, be a lot of people at the pub. So we've met her. Ah, we haven't met him. Okay, so let's go and give him a Tomorani introduction. I do love this bar back so much. How much do you guys love this bar back? Because I love it. I think it's gorgeous. Why is he so red? Like his face is all red. So you think you, I need to know the trait for it to count. So talk to any you don't know or traits on. Okay. Well, I've got the observant trait now. So in theory, that should work. It just says meet a sim with the child of the village personality trait. So explore Tom Ring and get to know some of the local sims. Okay, well, that's what I was doing. Uh, and there's no one else at the pub. <laughs> of course there isn't. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to go use the squat toilet and uh, get that that last one out of the way. And I'm going to hope that some more people turn up to the pub. There's Judith. Here we go. Here's some more people. Uh, Sophia Bergson. Yasmin Tinker. 
Let's list Yuki. There's Dustin. Uh, I need a local. No, I've already met him. Oh, man. Where's the, all the locals at? I want more of the locals. Who's this? Aha! She's a local. I want to meet her. You're local? No! No, 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 no. I want to meet her. Come on. Don't run away. Don't. No, oh, she's going to go. No. Stay there. I always find it frustrating when they take off when you're trying to meet them. There we go. Gloomy hates children maker. Ugh. This reminds me of uh, when I was playing the 13 ghost challenge and I had to like find some certain uh, characters with certain traits to be able to uh, reap their souls and yeah it was kind of it was challenging to be able to find that. Uh, I don't think she's local. That's Judith. She's definitely not local. Maybe local? I'm going to go say hello to them. Anyway. Probably not because they're paparazzi, but I guess you never know. <laughs> oh dear. Changing the colours. Uh, I've lost my sim. Where is she? She's still over there. Okay. Stop. No. Stop talking to her now. We don't care about her. We're over her. Hello. Moving on from her. We're going to meet Fetu Poa. Mm, I wanted to do like, yeah, there we go. Tom Marani introduction. How are we going on time? 10.30. Not too bad. So we'll probably uh, stream for another 20 minutes. And then I'll have to go and get ready for my stream with the Obsessed Simmer. I'm going to play around. I'm very excited about this. It's nice to play a game that I'm comfortable with that we can multiplayer on. That's for sure. Now, okay, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I could always make a sim and put a sim in a house. Let's do that. It's kind of a little bit cheaty, but <laughs> I don't care. I'm going to cheat. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's send her home and where is she? What? Why does she have any clothes on? Oh, was she in the hot tub? All right. <laughs> that was very confusing for a minute. I'm like, why is she not wearing any clothes? Uh, yeah, anyway. <laughs> wow. I hate how they have to walk like a thousand miles just to get home. Like, why can't they just like port from wherever they are to go home? Why do they have to like walk across the map to get there? <sighs> anyway. While she's having a rest at home... We do get a, like a little <laughs> look at the world. It's very pretty. And um, yeah. Oh, she just walked all the way home. That's ridiculous. So what we might do is I might go into Cass and create a sim that we can move into uh, one of the apartments that I've built. That'll be fun. I don't think I've done any Cass on stream, so... That'll be cool. I do like this, like, swimwear as well. I think that's cool. That's from the splash pool kit thing. So, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, Tomerang, the new world from 4 in So, I'm just playing uh, with that at the moment. And playing uh the four rent aspirations I'm just trying to play through those and i am in the process of cheating <laughs> i'm gonna create a new household to move in and <laughs> i'm gonna give them the child of the village traits so i can go and meet them i'm the cheatiest ah uh, nathan markham okay nathan you are going to go and meet be part of our world. It'll be fine. Ooh, that's frowny. He's a little frowny, isn't he? There we go. There we go. I'm not going to muck around too much with him. Whoa. Cheekbones. Yeah, baby. And I might change his eyes as well. Oh, no. 
Oh, that's kind of frowny, but I like it. Give him rougher eyebrows, and I want to change his hair as well. Yeah, shame on me. I know, right? <laughs> Shameless cheatering. But I, I don't want to spend like three hours like trying to find like a sim that has the trait when I can just <laughs> help the process along a little bit. I'm still going to go and meet them, you know? I'm still going to go and do that. I'm just like making sure that there is someone in the game that has the trait that I'm after. Ah, oh, I do like this shirt. That's from the uh, movie stuff pack. Um, I don't mind his jeans. Or his shoes. I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. Oh my gosh, no. No, 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 no. Oh no. I don't think so. <laughs> Why have I got so many yellows? Why have I got so many unused things? I don't know. That's so nerd. I love it. I don't feel like he's he's that nerdy though. I think he's like a cool suave kind of guy. You know what I mean? He's, what is with the glasses and the nose rings? I don't mind the nose ring, but they'll wear glasses for no reason. Um, yeah, I see this guy as like more of a suave, kind of cool guy. And he's grown up in Tomarang and, <laughs> and uh, yeah, he, you know, he's, he's down with the locals. He knows what's what. He's just, you know. He's one of those guys. Yeah, <laughs> I can't do it. That's just silly. <laughs> that's just silly. Ooh, that's funky. Let's change his shoes so they match. Because I don't think like having a black and white outfit and then like going brown shoes is like the best idea I've ever done. That's better. Sleepwear. He can just sleep in his underwear. Because of course, I'll give him some nice underwear though. Nice underwear. So that's from the Sentiments pack. Oh, camo. Can't see him anymore. Ugh. Jeez Louise. This random generated stuff. Oh, I don't like those pants at all. Uh, what's some cool party wear? I don't like those jeans either. Hmm. Why would you put buttons there? Strange. Ugh. No. I don't do like enough cats with guys like huh, ugh, ugh, no. I need to do it a little bit more, but you know what? he can wear those because he's a local, and we're definitely going to change his top. Uh, what would he look cool in? I don't mind that, and maybe we can put on some of these boots. That's a cool look. <laughs> <laughs> and swim oh, God, these accessories swimwear uh, I am actually okay with glasses just not those glasses maybe we could do some from the pool splash pack thing don't actually mind the accessories he's wearing at all but I will put him in those yeah and the shoes are fine Maybe I'll just change the colour of those black and white. There we are. He's going to be very monochrome. I don't mind a monochrome look. Oh, no. <sighs> He's really determined to wear glasses, isn't he? He really wants to wear them. So, it's a hot day. What glasses are we going to wear? Those ones. And maybe we can put him in. Are there any cool... No, there are not any cool full outfits. I don't, I don't see him, like, wearing these. Oh, actually, he kind of pulls that off. I never use these. I, I don't, I don't particularly love that pack. There's, like, the odd thing that's quite usable. Uh, that's the Mardi, what is it, the Mardi Gras kind of one. I don't know. I, don't, I think that's for maybe more party kind of things. Okay. Oh, good lord. What is wrong with him? I'm going to put him in a hat. A nice, like, hat. Black and white hat. Oh, I don't like the green on the end. No, thank you. I, You know what? I'm going to just use my favourite hat, which is the one from the Grunge Revival pack. I use that hat basically all the time. I think it's my favourite winter hat. 
Uh, I'm cheating, AK, is what you've missed. So I'm currently creating a character that has the uh, child of the village trait so that I can go and meet them and <laughs> take my aspiration off because I'm a terrible, terrible cheater. So that's currently what I am doing. Cheating and cheating. Like a horrible, horrible cheater. That's me. I wonder if I can get rid of that necklace. Or is it just part of the outfit? Because I actually don't mind that outfit except for the, the gold. Um, so yeah, I am currently in the process of making a cool guy. Who is going to be my uh, guy that I'm going to meet. Hmm. It's just going to be a bit weird in Tomerang, isn't it? I'm just going to put him in this. I'm, I am going to get rid of the purple socks and the weird shoes. And just put him in those. Those are my favourite shoes for men. Is, uh, from the Machino pack. Stuff pack. Uh, with the lace-ups. The big sort of boots. I'm going to give him... Fountain Tomerani knowledge. And then he's going to have... Generous trait and make sure I remember to do child of the village because otherwise uh, this is a pointless thing child of the village and nosy why not there we go there's our dude Nathan Markham I am I'm a dirty dirty cheater naughty old me ah oh, well so I'm gonna move him into Chiwichiwa Kanto, which is a starter house, and it has mold. <laughs> I always like forget about this lot because I don't know. I find it really hard to see when I like, yeah, I don't know. It, it's just like kind of blends for me, so I just always miss it when I'm playing this. Not that I'm playing uh, that I played for rent a lot, but I am kind of like incorporating rentals into some of my uh other gameplay so like uh no hang on that's a spoiler um <laughs> i was just like hang on no, i filmed that yesterday that's a spoiler uh what was i doing that oh the drift was it the drifter challenge that i'm playing in my personal lot a uh, personal game i incorporated that into i incorporated for rent into that as well so I'm doing so the drifter challenge but I'm a landlord at the same time just to, you know earn a lot of a little bit of extra money not that I found like you earn like heaps from renting out or I haven't so far but I guess I haven't like done a five star rental yet either so maybe I should build like a super fantasy five star rental kind of thing and see how much money I can make one day okay so I need to get her to have a sleep and then I'm going to send her off to meet our lovely, lovely Nathan. And hopefully we can get a tick on that aspiration. We're still waiting for a, a, it's like an emergency event. Nothing's happened so far. I do find it frustrating waiting for things. Like where you can't control when or how something's going to happen with the aspirations. Where it's just sort of like a random thing. I do find that frustrating with aspirations because it's kind of like, well, I don't have any control over how that happens. And sometimes you can be waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And yeah, it's like, well, you know what? I actually want to get on and do other things. <laughs> so, although I guess you can always switch your aspirations around and do different things. I mean, you don't have to wait and wait. But what if the event happens, for example, and you've switched to a different aspiration and then you don't get the aspiration point for it? And then you're like, and then you're like rage 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 because you don't get the thing that you've been waiting for uh, because you've switched because you know you got bored waiting for whatever it is that was going to happen to happen <sighs> this is my problem with aspirations <laughs> and probably why i avoid them quite uh quite regularly i that's why i used to very rarely kind of do them uh, in my own gameplay before i started doing content creation you know what that's enough rest i'm bored with her sleeping so let's go and take her off and away uh, maybe we should hire a nanny first before we go hire a nanny and then we'll head off and go meet nathan nathan our lovely lovely nathan my chitty chitty nathan oh no ha 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 
The game has frozen. By the way, if this happens, hold hold Alt F4, and you can save and exit uh, so that you don't lose your gameplay. So if you get like something like this happen, Alt F4 should fix the problem. So I'll be back in a second because I've just got to reload the game, and hopefully we're all saved from where we were. Uh, yeah, so Alt F4, if you do have like a little freezy, freezy, freezy crash like I just had, it'll get you back. Or hopefully at least save your game from where you are and then you can exit out and like refresh it. Ah, gotta love the sims though and the little crashes and the little glitches and things like that that happen. You know, bless it. It has its own sort of personality really, doesn't it? Definitely has its own personality. And you know what, I really lucked out the last couple of days because my uh, father-in-law texted me on Sunday after uh, Sunday and was like oh do the kids want to come and stay for a couple of days and I was like oh, yes because that means I can stream on Monday without the kids around and then I can stream on Tuesday morning without the kids around because the kids are coming back after lunch and uh yeah bonus because I mean my kids are really good with it so they'll, they'll go and I'll occupy them with uh YouTube or whatever while I'm uh streaming in there very respectful of the fact that I am streaming but it is easier if they are elsewhere um okay so just take my filter off and let's load the game you get to see all the zillions and zillions of loads save files that I have I have like uh over 50 at the moment <laughs> save files Oh, uh, so for this little lady, if you get like um, a freezes, you hit Alt F4 and that'll get you like a, um, a an option to save and exit. So then you can save and exit the game. You don't lose your progress. Why do I have 50 saves? Um, well, <laughs> I have a different save for the different uh, games that I play. So, uh, like, the, for this, I'll have a separate play, uh, save for this. And then, like, because I do so many Let's Plays and stuff for the channel, for my YouTube channel, I'll have, like, a different save for each of those. I have a different save for my build files. Um, and then I'll have, like, blank template save files as well. So, like, um, a blank, just, like, all the worlds, all the builds in the world and stuff deleted and all the characters in the world deleted. And, yeah, so there's, like, a variety of different things that I'm working on. So that's why I kind of have different saves for all the different things yeah so it just I think it just depends on your style of gameplay and, and how you how you do things but because I have like uh, a content creation and I'm doing like lots of different things for different reasons um, I have different saves for all of those things so I don't like muddle things up so yeah ah oh, well you might be able to like work out what the what the Mac version of that is I'm sure there will be a, a Mac version. Uh, I, I, I have no idea on Mac. I don't like Apple products, so I don't play with them. Um, okay, so she was in the middle of calling the nanny, and then we were going to go and visit Nathan. So that's where we were at. Yay, we've hired a nanny, so we are going to go and travel now. But yeah, I'm sure there will be a, a Mac version of it. Please don't ask me what it is, because I've got no idea. Because <laughs> ah, I just don't use Apple stuff. I, I used to, but I don't anymore. So I did Google Common plus Q. Okay. Alright, yep, try and remember. It's actually quite handy knowing that. I only learned it recently, to be honest. Um, so let's knock on the door this is a really interesting build like I've never actually really properly looked at this so this is one of the pre-builds that came with the with the pack um I get why it's there because it like really suits like the the town area ah oh, he's not home <laughs> oh, after all of that um why aren't you home Nathan I need to meet you. Why are you frustrating me? <laughs> uh, 
you're bored. Yeah, you're tea deprived. From nosy sim being starved of secrets, getting snoo get snooping. Meddling cannot function in society otherwise. Okay. Okay, well, I'm just going to break in. Why not? So I'm with you, Velvet. I hate Apple computers, but I love my iPhone and iPad. <laughs> I I don't even like... I. I don't like, uh, we've got like an iPad in the house and it's it's old to be fair, uh, but I'm not a big fan and I used to have to uh, uh, use Apple's, Apple, uh, like an iPhone for my old job and it was fine, but I just find Apple stuff kind of overpriced for what it is when, and I also I don't really want to learn a whole new system. So I'm just kind of lazy, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I, I still don't general, in general like um, the Apple products. Because I, I used to use them all the time when I was back in the day. And you had like iTunes. And it was just really clunky and not very count, uh, sort of intuitive to use. And I got really frustrated with Apple stuff. So Madeline has discovered that Nathan has a secret liar liar pants on fire. Ew. Liar liar pants on fire. Fire is such a powerful thing. It grants us the ability to create delicious foods and interesting inventions. But it also threatens us with, with the possibility of destruction and demise. And yet, for some reason, I can't help but think its destructive nature is beautiful in a way. Sometimes when I'm cooking on the stove or the grill, I almost wish my culinary creation would catch fire so I can see those beautiful flames once again. Just to keep things a little spicy, you know. I mean, I would never let my pancakes catch fire on purpose. Never, ever. <laughs> oh, fabulous. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, but I did not, however, meet Nathan. Well, yeah, pyromaniac kind of sim. Oh, every game you wanted to play uh, was only on iPhone. Yeah, I do find that frustrating that, like, the whole, like, iPhone is all different from, like, everything else. I particularly don't love that either, so. Yeah, but I get it. People with different strokes are different folks. Um, huh, I, I'm just going to end this, because we've done what we came to do. Hello, how are you? Thank you for coming along. Welcome, welcome. I'm actually just about to finish up in a couple of minutes. Uh, I'm going to uh, sort of go on pause and... Uh, get a raft loaded up. I'm going to be playing raft with the obsessed simmer very shortly. We're going to play like a multiplayer game. So this is my first time co-streaming and also playing a multiplayer game on um, blah blah blah. What is it? Twitch. So yeah, I'm kind of excited about that. And what we're doing at the moment is I'm trying to meet someone with the child of the village personality trait in Tomarang. <sighs> and it has been tiring because I I the person that I wanted to go and meet is not home because I I decided I was going to cheat and uh, create a sim that would be that would have the trait that I'm after and then you know, he wasn't home so I'm going to try him again you just left the movies what were you watching at the movies was it anything excellent I have not been to the movies in so long uh, not for any particular reason just I haven't now, is he home? Can we see if he's home? Uh, it looks like he's home. Let's try that again. I do like going to the movies, though. Migration. Migration. Ah! Oh, yeah, I've, I've seen the ad for that. That's um, the animated one. And I want to say, like, ducks or geese or something. I, don't, I just saw it sort of vaguely. Here he is! Nathan! Oh my gosh, look at my hairy legs. <laughs> oh, they're so disgusting. We did it! I cheated, but we did it. Okay. <laughs> oh, I cheated, I cheated, I cheated. Oh, hilarious. Yeah, it was ducks, yeah. It did look very cute. Um, I figured migration had to be like ducks or geese, because those, those are the two sort of birds that do a lot of the migration kind of thing. Um... Yeah, it looked really cute. I'm not, uh, it's probably something like my, I'd maybe take my kids to see. Maybe I should do that, actually. They'd probably quite like it. 
I don't know. I think school holidays at the moment, so I'm going to keep them occupied somehow. Okay, so I have oh, oh probably got to wrap it up and uh, get ready for raft now. So we have we're still waiting for our emergency event to happen. We've been playing for what almost an hour and still no emergency event. So that's been really disappointing. Yeah, but we have done a little bit with our font of Tomorani knowledge. So now we need to cook Tomorani cuisine, buy a shirt from the night market. So I'm excited to do that. Buy food at the night market. So that'll be fun. And prepare a recipe using a fresher cooker. So actually we have one. Oh, there's something. Someone's cooked something in there too. Huh. I didn't know anyone had been using that. That's cool. Release steam. I haven't even used this yet. I'm getting distracted. Huh. I don't, I, uh, yeah, I actually haven't even used, like, the steam. I've used the kettle, but I haven't used the pressure cooker yet. I completely forgot about it. Huh. Oh, well, I'm going to call the kids to the meal. And, yeah, I know, lots of, lots of birds migrate. I just, those are the two that sprung to mind for me geese and ducks so uh some sport set up two extra saves to play through and it's like oh yay it's always fun to set up new saves and get to get to playing with those it'll be fun okay guys well i'm gonna wrap it up there thank you so much for coming along and for viewing and in the next uh let's play for the for rent which will be next it, well it's tuesday for me and it's probably monday for you guys uh we will try and do all of these things here the font of Tomorani knowledge and I'm gonna hope that we actually get an emergency event nothing's happening as far as the rental side of things goes so I don't know we'll see okay guys I'll wrap it up there thank you so much and uh, I'm gonna be back in a, in a couple of minutes with raft once I get all loaded up it's a bit of a slow load for me so probably about five minutes or so catch you soon bye bye